okay. so on and so forth. So I'm on the 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 ultraviolet line oh. at, at the 100 100% transmission mm -hmm. filter, okay? And I'm going to zero my voltmeter, which discharges the capacitor. I'm going to go now, and you'll see that voltage reach some uh, a settling point. You'll see the voltage on the left reach some settling point. That's the stopping voltage. Okay, the next one. Okay, and then and on the right you saw the time it took to do that. The next one is my 80% uh, transmission for the ultraviolet light frequency. Okay, I zeroed my capacitor, discharged my capacitor, zeroed my voltage, and I'll go now. And you'll see the voltage on the left reach and settle at some voltage, which is the stopping voltage. And the time it took to do that is can be starts. You can calculate the time difference between the beginning and the end of that charging cycle by way of the experimental clock on the right. Okay. Now I'm going to get this filter here now. Okay. This took as many takes to do this, by the way, to get this done in one day to run. Okay, so we're at 60% uh, uh, transmission, mm -hmm. and we're at the ultraviolet uh, wavelength uh, in the experiment. It's the highest frequency of the experiment coming out of the, the helium vapor lamp. Oh, uh, mercury. Mer uh, mercury, sorry, yeah. mercury vapor lamp. And I have zero discharge the capacitor. I'm going to go now, and you'll see the voltage on the left settle at the stopping voltage for the... Uh, ultraviolet light at the 60% transmission window mm -hmm. of course the time it took to do that is on your on the right and then I'll put this at the 40% 40% transmission window I will zero the voltage I've zeroed the voltage now and this is the 40% transmission window for the ultraviolet light and I will go now and you'll see the voltage uh, jump and settle to some point uh, which is your data on the left for the stopping voltage and the time it took to do that is all the way there on your right in the experiments clock and then my very last data point is going to be the 20 percent transmission window um, for the ultraviolet light and you will see me come over here more so they don't have to look at, at, at this at, at the data at an angle yeah I will zero my discharge my capacitor you see the zero volts on the left I'll go now and you will see the voltage on the left settle at some value and the time it takes to do that is on the right now at, that's all the data now what what's going to happen is uh, students is you will uh, uh, I suppose these the total video yeah. the data collection process was 24 minutes well but for you to collect it they're going to have to start and stop their, right. their, their video right. many times to write down the numbers mm -hmm. there is uh, one more question here uh, maybe let's just take one or two data points for that one it's asking for second order spectrum maybe okay. let's do okay. uh, maybe like the uh, yellow in the second order spectrum. okay let's remind them what the second order spectrum is if you look at these uh, you hopefully you can see here this is the first order the real bright ones and then the second order will be see they're dimmer so you want to do the yellow line in the second order or actually maybe let's just do the the blue. violet the, the blue okay because we can see it well uh, okay okay so let's do that so uh you want to do uh, the stopping potential on the uh, second order line of the blue yes yeah, and the time the stopping potential in time okay so there's my first order maximum uh, ultraviolet, violet, blue, green, and yellow. Let me focus that. Okay, now it's focused. Oh, these are ultraviolet, uh, violet, blue, green, and yellow. Mm -hmm. If I come out here further, I'm going to see ultraviolet, violet, and blue. It's much dimmer. Do you see that? So I'm right on the blue there. It's a second order maximum. Are you focused here? Can you see that blue? Yeah. Okay. So now I still, I'm still going to turn off the light. It's going to be easier to see me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see this. This blue line is the second order maximum. Obviously, the intensity is lower. And let me see inside. Yeah, let's here. look inside to see if that light is going in and hitting. Looking good. The window Looking that goes. To the, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close this very gently because remember, if I close that too quickly, it if I close that 
gate too quickly, it rotates it a little bit, and that would just be sloppy experimental technique, you know. Um, you, you know, one thing about doing experiments is, I, 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 under, I understand that you guys are in class and you want to get your lab done, but, you know, when you do get back into the lab, uh, you should really spend time there and, and play like a kid playing in the sandbox, because that's when you learn. And so maybe you do your lab to get it done, but uh, spending more time in the lab is, is really super valuable. Okay, so you would like Dr. Estrogen? Yeah, so maybe the transmission filter, let's put it on. You want to put then... it on the different, the different um, 100? Yeah. Okay, so we're on the blue line, second order uh, uh, maximum of the blue line, and we're going we're gonna to look at the, 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 the five different... Ampli and we are not going to do the other colors. Just like okay, we're just going to do the blue line. Okay, so let me go ahead and, and go ahead and look at the data. Square square your camera off. Let me let me make it more this easier for you to get square yeah, on that. That's fine. And then okay, I'm going to zero again. This is 100% transmission blue line second order maximum. I'm going to go now, and you will see that voltage on the left settle somewhere. Okay, I'll okay. Listen a little more of the speed. All right. And then I'll move it to the 80% transmission window. And I'll zero my voltage. 80% transmission window, blue line, second order maximum. I'll go, I will go, I'm zero, I'll go now. And you'll see that voltage on the left settle somewhere. It looks like we're getting some, uh, whatever you read is what you're getting. That's your data. Don't let me comment on it. Um, and let me go now to the 60% transmission window, and I will zero the voltage. Zeroing the volt. Oh, I, I just rotated this slightly, doctor. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, check that window. Oh yeah, not slight, actually quite a bit. Uh, I think I need to remove this first b before we can okay. uh, see. Um... Is that okay? Um, trying to show them what we're doing, yeah. Now my hand is in the way. Um, Look good? Uh, almost, I think. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay, let's go to the 60% transmission window. Um, I will zero my voltage out. I'll go now, and you'll see that voltage settle somewhere. And the time it took to do that is on your right. Okay, and then I'll go to my 40% transmission window. So we are doing the second order so that you can comment on how the second order compares to the first order. Right, okay? so this is the second order blue line now at the 40% transmission window. Blue line, 40% transmission window, second order peak through the diffraction grating. And I'll go now, and you will see that voltage settle somewhere. And we are only doing the blue line for the second order. Yes, just the blue line, and just you know the wavelength more, and frequency of that. Just wait a little bit more here. Okay, you there? Um, okay. Okay. And then I will move this to the 20% transmission window of the second order blue line. Okay, I'm zero, I've z discharged the capacitor, I'm at zero. I'm going to go now, and you will see that voltage settle somewhere. And you will see the time it takes to do that um, is on your right. Let's see what's going on here. We're at 30 minutes now, so you don't see fractions of second now. You actually actually seconds being counted off. Uh, it's been that way for a while. Now. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's 30, um, 30 minutes, 25, 5, 6, just probably seven. here we have a very weak light. Yeah, we're getting some some interesting things that they can write down and comment about, yeah? Yeah, so they can comment on this one. So maybe I'm gonna check the, oh, I think I moved it. Um, Show them what you're doing, uh, film that. 
So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it for you. Is that better? It's very hard to see with, with the mask on, with the filter on. Um, oh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay. Uh, let's do that last data point one more time. Yeah, that's a tough one. That twenty percent, it's hard. It's hard, very hard yeah. for me to get it aligned because I can't. I can't really see that well. And second order spectrum is weaker. Yeah, it's hard to get the twenty percent window okay, in place. Okay, uh, let's do it. Ready? Okay, let's zero it out. Twenty percent transmission window, blue line, second order, uh, maximum, and now. And you will see that voltage settle somewhere. It's it's very uh Okay, I think we are getting a similar result. Yeah, here, similar but result. Let's there. Just wait for like uh yeah, 20 wait, seconds. Wait for a minute. And then and then let, let's give them some closing remarks. Um uh, I think I think they now have all the data. Right. So you guys are gonna have to uh students, you're gonna have to run the video and take take the data points, start and stop the video to get to write down the times. The, the chain, the, the the time duration for each time it took for the uh, voltage to reach its equilibrium value, which is the stopping voltage, and you should, with all that data, be able to do the entire laboratory write-up. Is that right, Doctor? Yes. Yes. Is, is there are there any remaining things that you'd like to tell the students? We're now at about probably the entire video is at about 41 minutes of course it took us a long time to rehearse yeah, this roughly 45 minutes i think we wanted to do all the data in one take so it took us a long time to rehearse and and get it all done this way so the setup for this was much longer than the actual filming but we think we've got everything done for them is that right yes and then uh, they need to when they do the analysis uh they need to basically make comments on if there are some discrepancies, uh, what what may be the causes, right? Right. So you want to go over those again? What we what we well, already I talked mean, about them in the video. Uh, yeah, we talked about alignment, uh, like uh, the alignment of the focus. I mean, the focusing of the lens and gripping, yeah. the alignment of the apparatus. So we talked about those things, but then there might be issues with our apparatus itself. So that's correct. That's I mean, correct. Uh, the way we are doing things here uh, is probably not the way the original photoelectric effect experiments was done. Uh, originally, they measured current directly, for example. So we are actually we have a capacitor here which is charging. So it's a little bit different. And then there might also be some you know issues with the tube itself. It might be aged. That's and right. That's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that's correct. I mean, some uh, uh, definitely. I mean, but the students are asked to uh, verify the classical and quantum predictions and see uh, which one is actually better. Right. And if neither seems to be working, they need to also comment on that. Right. Where is the, the error? What could be happening? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, look at that whiteboard there. You can see the are uh grating lines really nicely right oh yeah look at that here over over here you can see our mercury spectrum our green and our blue right it's a bit hard to focus but yes uh it's our mercury spectrum on the board yeah yeah, yeah. well uh I, I guess that concludes it right? that concludes the photoelectric effect good luck guys you got everything you need in the video now that's a 45 minute video. By the time you start, stop, and take off the data and do it all, it should take you two or three hours to do your lab. And thank, thank, you. thank you, Doc. It's always a pleasure Th working with you. Thank you, Dr. Estrogen. It's my pleasure, sir.